What is up, people of the internet? This is Brownstone coming to you with a new video, and welcome back to the Upper Producer channel! Yep, it has been an eventful two weeks, and I am finally back from vacation. And, lo and behold, what awaits me? None other than the Avatar The Way of Water trailer. And, let's look now, and let's give it a watch! Unfortunately, I cannot show the trailer as I'm reacting, because, um, I like my channel, and I don't want YouTube to, uh... Put a copyright claim on it, or copyright block it more like. I mean, I know you may be thinking, oh, but all oh, but other reactors are able to do it just fine. Yeah, but YouTube seems to be particularly harsh on me for some reason. So yeah, uh, we can't show it. I I can't show it, but it's like, like you'll still hear it. You'll still hear it. So uh, yeah, and you'll and you'll hear my reaction thoughts as I'm as I'm watching this. I'm gonna be reacting this for the first time and. Yeah, this has been a long time in the making because, uh, yeah, a long time in the, long time waiting because people have been waiting for this trailer for a long, long time. They kept asking, like, when's the trailer? When's the trailer? So, yeah, it's finally here, and let's, let's give it a watch. Ooh. Okay, we're underwater. Okay, right off the bat, we're... We're going somewhere, right? Is that Kiri? I think that I think that's Kiri. The light storm entertainment. I love that shot in the interior. Oh my! Wait, what? Oh, she's with her bow. Some director James Cameron. Yep. Dad, I know you think I'm crazy. Is that Kiri? That that's Jake and Kiri. I think that's Jake and Kiri. But I feel her. Grace. Ooh. I hear her heartbeat. It's the plot device. She's so close. Hmm? Hey, that's the shot I saw. Like, that's the scene I saw in the re-release. So what does her heartbeat sound like? Oh, you are. Mighty. Oh, oh my. What? What? <laughs> Oh my return to Pandora. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Wow. Oh my god. Fire? Wait, wait, what? Oh my wait, who's Quadric! That's Quadric! Let you bring your war here. That's the Mantic Kai clan. That's all they see. Oh. Yep, classic. That's the original theme. That's the original theme. Okay, they're gonna use the original the theme. Water connects all things. Before your birth. Equans. And after your death. Oh. This is our home! Wait, what? This looks like Titanic. It's like Wait. the drowning, the water drowning looks like Titanic. I need you to be strong. Kiri has powers. Oh, what? Kiri has powers. Oh. Kiri can now join the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's picking up our boat. <sighs> Avatar the way of water. Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I can't believe I actually just... What can I say? This this trailer looks amazing. As if I'm not already hyped for this movie, I'm I'm even even more hyped hyped now. Okay, so right off the bat, I think we have reincarnation theory for Grace Augustine confirmed here, and uh, and we know this is what this, we we saw Quadrix Avatar form, and uh, we know that they're gonna be traveling to this under to this like underwater clan. And, like, there, there's just so much so much to talk about talk about with this with this trailer. I'm barely able to put it uh, put it in into words. Obviously we know what the general plot summary is gonna be for a while now, we knew that. But seeing it here, it's like in uh, the teaser trailer didn't really give us give us much to go off of, except for some new new locations though. But this actually gives us some some slight story information without driving uh, without spoiling too much. And I like that about this trailer. A lot of trailers like they spoil the spoil the story. Heck even my trailers even the trailer for Avatar the movie is guilty of that. 
You'll do that because that's just a lot of what that, that, that that's just a lot of what a lot of what the Z trailers do. You know, they try and summarize uh, summarize the main main story and stuff. But here, like, uh, uh, but here, James Cameron, James Cameron, and the team put the, put the trailer together. They allow you to see, uh, to figure out what's going on for yourself, and I really like that. It r really gives a lot of room for speculation and thought. And, wow. This trailer is incredible. It really is. I cannot wait to see Avatar The Way of Water in theaters. Oh my god. It's like, like one more month away. I cannot wait that long. It says torture. Well, honestly. <sighs> Avatar is like all I can think about ever since I first, first, first watched it. It's literally all I can think about. I'm thinking of this movie. I'm thinking of the sequel every day of the week. So... Yeah, n yeah. Now my brain has more things to think think about. Yay! And it also looks like they're using the original theme here. Like, and, and theme here. I mean, I it, there wasn't any doubt in my mind that there were uh, that the, there there wasn't any doubt in my mind that they were gonna use the original theme, considering that James Horner's music will be reused and reused in the film and stuff. So obviously they will use the original theme in some places. But it looks like that they're gonna use it more prominently. It looks like because if they're if they're tacking on the original theme onto the trailers. It can't be just a nostalgic thing. I mean, if I mean, if it is just a, just a nostalgic thing, that'd be interesting. But like, like, like it looks like looks like that they're actually going to be using the original theme more prominently, and I love that theme. So, yeah. In case you guys are wondering what that theme is, it's I see you. Like, it, it's like literally, it's literally I see you. It's a song by Celine Dion, I think. I, I don't know. I forgot who sang it, but but it's like. Something something I noticed in both Titanic and and Avatar is that James Cameron has a way of uh, James Cameron and James Horner, Horner have a way of uh, like more like James Horner has a way of like putting the original uh, like adapting adapting a song into a movie soundtrack like with uh, Titanic it was My Heart Will Go On and with Avatar it was I See You so. Yeah, that's just that's just one thing I noticed. It's it's pretty cool, and the fact that they're using that they're using, that they're using the original theme here must mean something. Obviously, this is obviously this is a win-win, because uh, something something the Marvel movies have been criticized for is that they they don't have thematic consistency. Okay. So I'm really glad that I'm really glad that uh, that more movies are well, more movies are using are using thematic consistency and stuff because. Because once you get attached to a theme, you don't want to be attached to a completely new one. Obviously, there will be some new themes, because new composer and all. But I like the fact that they're kind of melding the two themes themes here. It's like it's like something they did in the teaser trailer and stuff. Like, like uh, we hear, you, you hear these, like, new themes, but the original theme is still on top of it. So I think it's going to be this... I think the soundtrack's going to be this blending of Horner, Horner and Franklin, which... Which really excites excites me. It'll be interesting to see how their two styles, styles, styles mix and mix and mix and come together and stuff. Obviously, Simon Franklin's like a long time collaborator with James Horner and stuff, so that's why he was chosen and stuff. So, yeah, hopefully he'll honor Horner's Horner's work. There's so much to unpack in this. Un, un, there's so much to unpack in this trailer. It looks like we have Quadric Quadric back, as I said. It looks like we have the RDA torching. I torching the Medikai clan, uh, clan, clan's home, home, home and stuff. This looks, this looks gonna be a lot more brutal than the original. If you thought Home Tree, uh, if you thought the destruction, the destruction of Home, Home Tree was was bad, bad. Oh boy, look, it looks like the RDA are up to up to no good business. This is here. Yeah, they're really mad at Jake here. Here, and you can tell Quadric and Gro Quadric by question crushing that skull. Oh boy, he's mad. Yeah, I think this kind of confirms what I wanted in the original. In like the original video, which I talked about, Quadric Quadric returning, and that, and that in order in order for it to work, work work, you know, James James Cameron has to has to like evolve the character and stuff, make him get, uh, make him get like practically unrecognizable and stuff. And here, yeah, it looks like it, cause he's not the, cause like this Quadric, he's not the racist grandpa, <laughs> racist grandpa grandpa that he was in the original. Like, oh, he's like a full on. A, he seems like a full on serial killer here. Like he wants to kill somebody, as if he didn't already do do that in the first film. But like, but you get the point. It really looks like it really looks like James Cameron wants to elevate 
elevate the character, make make uh, make, make Quadra an even stronger, even stronger villain. And I'm all for that. I think this I think this is gonna work. Alright. And also we have uh also also we have Kiri having superpowers. Superpowers. That was uncalled for. I mean it's not a, not not really. It's like but really? That's that's actually really interesting, cause like, cause like we know the Navi are in touch with touch with nature and stuff, but and with Kiri being like half 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 Navi and stuff, with being the re reincarnation of Grace Augustine, Doctor Grace Augustine, what does that exactly mean for for a character, and why does she have powers here? It'll be it'll be interesting to see how the film explores this, cause I don't think we've ever seen the Navi, you know, Navi or Avatar with powers. Not even Jake has superpowers like that. So I wonder where the powers come from. Maybe Iwa. Cause Iwa, cause it looks like Jake and uh, Jake and uh, Jake. I've been saying I've been saying Jake and Jake and Nateri for so many videos. <laughs> That's like, like uh, Jake and Kiri were visiting, visiting Iwa at one point. Maybe that how she gets her powers or something. It's, it's very interesting. There's a lot to speculate here, and and I think I might do that over the course of the coming weeks and stuff in order to prep prep for this movie. I might do speculation up because this trailer gives a lot to speculate. So, yeah, you'll be seeing more of that. So, with that being said, uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to uh, like and uh, like and subscribe. And I might, just might, watch Black Adam and review it this weekend. No promises, but I just might. So, yeah, I will post an, I'll post an update on that if I... If I end up end up doing it, so something something to be hyped hyped for this weekend. So, yeah, see you guys later.